Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and we are here on Gorduk Canyon. So this is going to be one of these custom maps made by Dumon. He has made a lot of maps in the past and he's back at it. This is one of the first ones on the workshop and it looks freaking awesome. I can show you the overhead map. Basically, you get deployment here, deployment here, and then you get a bit of a, um, a symmetrical matchup with basically it's split up by I don't know what to call these giant pillars of stone essentially so there's three in the middle across and then two after that staggered so myself and Indy Pride are moving up with uh, various green skin forces so we're pushing up giant squig herd in the center backed up by artillery and chariots and tons of infantry trolls and other units on my right side I have a giant squig herd prepared to move forward and then we have more forces over here, two spiders. Um, and then hidden behind each of these little forests, we have nasty skulkers. Meanwhile, the dwarves are nice and buttoned up on this side with a lot of defensive forces. So we can go ahead at, and look at least at my preliminary scouting troops. Had nasty skulkers trying to push forward just to see what was going on. And we are drawing the ire of the dwarves who are unloading on us. There is going to be the flight of the Valkyries, you know, happening here with tons of these guys coming into support. Meanwhile, their artillery is just bombarding our position. We do have this nice rocky uh, cliff to block further fire. So we can hide behind that. And a lot of artillery is being wasted on rather cheap troops. I do have all my archers pulled up behind here. We had a bit of an ambush going off at the enemy. And then what's pretty cool also is that we have Azog the Slaughterer coming out and he's going to be able to bite these helicopters into little tiny bits and pieces. This one has come back over here kind of using the cliffs to hide and fire away at our Lord which is super cool. That's what I like about this map. The ability for the um, all types of units be it ground or air to kind of use the terrain to hide. Speaking of hiding behind the terrain, this is exactly what we're trying to do. Like I was saying a lot of the shots come in here and just clipping the edge of the cliff so we really need to stay hidden. Meanwhile, over here, you can see my giant uh, herd of squigs coming down like a river moving through the canyon. And they're going to be led by Azog on his boar. So he has this, these guys at his beck and call. Really funny to see this. Let's take a look at his forces a little closer. Yeah, he looks freaking awesome. And I always like looking at this little um, squig on his back. Apparently the lore behind that is that was another war boss that he uh, turned into a squig, I believe. But yeah, so these are our forces. We're kind of preliminarily scouting ahead. We take a look at the enemy dwarf line. Uh, guarding either flank, they have a lot of units. Long beards in the front. Uh, iron breakers, of course, with their satchel charges. And then an ethereal lord who has... Uh, lots of debuffs that can get off against us. Rangers in the back. Slayers to then back that up even further. A lot of uh, regiments of renown. And then a huge group of artillery. Lots of grudge throwers. And then one of them is going to be the regiment of renown, the Goblaba, which also has additional uh, morale penalties against our troops. So they're going to have a lot um, to debuff our guys as we pu push forward. So that's where we're being a little bit cautious. Trying to bombard the enemy from afar. In the main line, Belagar Iron Hammer is also in the mix. We're starting to return fire with our forces, striking at the Quarrelers and Artillery Crew. And on this flank, you can also see some more units, kind of a reflection of what happened on the other side. Um, Indy's also rolling up with some of his Doom Divers. And I really like this canyon, how it kind of forces you to play with this line of sight. So even our artillery has had to move into position where this is the only place it can really fire safely. And my skulkers are going to be here to preserve line of sight because that's something that in this map might end up happening is you lose kind of sight of your forces. Uh, a second Pelagar also going to be here to keep a watchful eye on our forces. The enemy has retargeted a lot of its grudge thrower fire against some of my night goblin archers. That's fine. I mean, if they're going to shoot at anything, might as well be the cheapest of our goblin forces. And these peppy little creatures will just pop themselves right back up. So we're more than happy to take that. Man, look at these high-flying volleys from both sides. Such epicness going on here. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, this is the front ranks of goblins and squigs. The main line, big guns, 
and tons of more forces in the back. Trolls, uh, Crimson Killers in the very rear, and then of course the Arachnarch Spiders just waiting around, and they're letting the Goblins duke it out. So this is a real awesome fight. And one of the cool things I like about these battles is because they're not open planes with close deployment, it really enables the ability to have this drawn out skirmishing phase plus the way the maps like this one are configured is it makes the battles uh, that much more cerebral you have to think about where you deploy you can use the terrain to your advantage so that's freaking awesome on this front uh, what we're gonna try and do to break these dwarven strongholds is gonna be to try and bait out their satchel charges we know those can do a tremendous amount of damage oh and also we're having a fight over there on top of the cliffs really cool to see that happening on all fronts uh, action in all corners literally but yeah what we're preparing here is we wanted to bait out some of that fire and then we're gonna try and follow up with the giant squig attack get Wozog in there as well get some savage orcs to come in and then we're gonna kinda of prepare an all-out assault on the center we do spot some of these forces uh, getting a little bit too cocky and out of position they were trying to get a forward uh, spot but now we're gonna have units coming in from both sides do want to show a bit more of the baiting that's going on here and yeah we're gonna get in and amongst this artillery which is freaking sweet do want to put this on pause just so we can come about and look at the angry uh, bees nest that's gonna be kind of responding to that and so all of these forces are gonna be firing at our little cluster of forces trying to save the day are gonna be returning fire with tons of troops and what I'm doing here is I'm getting off a lot of abilities trying to debuff these forces so here um, dropping their damage resistance and then hitting them with a huge breath attack but these iron breakers are tough so that did a fair amount of HP damage and now here comes the follow-up charge I do want to press pause to show you that this is kinda of coinciding on all fronts so let's watch the main squig assault real briefly up through the center so this is this first strike that we're doing on this side just to wash against the enemy and we have more squigs and other units moving forward and over here I do want to show you where the main attack of my squigs is happening I'm gonna have Wazog pop some abilities to buff my melee attack and all that and we'll see just how um, this gets off here come all our squigs a lot more satchels being thrown in the mix we weren't able to bait out all of them uh, throwing axes also being tossed in the mix and now we've penetrated through the, the front line and a lot of our guys are running backwards in fear but we've penetrated far against elite troops eating up a lot of these forces and look what's coming out right behind this savage orcs and other troops Wazog is also going to be buffing this gonna put this on slow motion so we can appreciate the other parts of the battlefield uh, basically here our initial charge was beaten back and so now we decide to pull up with the main horde of forces, my big guns, the rest of these more heavy hitting troops, all going to be starting to charge forward. So this is what a war looks like. Crimson Killer is also getting in the mix. So some pretty epic stuff. We have archers and other units. And now we're starting to mass artillery fire on some of the more elite infantry, uh, Norgrimlings and other forces just in preparation for the attack. Meanwhile over here I've been charged by a unit of Longbeards um, so they're trying to poke out our eyes and ears on this front who are otherwise screening for this Doomdiver catapult which has been doing a fair amount of damage to these front ranks. Hammer is taking a beating um, and especially these Ulthar's raiders so sacrificing a Nasky Skulker unit isn't that big of a deal. Let's get back to this part of the action. We can watch some of the fight. The real problem for us is when the Slayers get in here, they're going to be doing a lot of damage to our units. And especially having this ethereal hero in the mix is going to be really hard to dislodge. I now get in with my Savage Big Guns because the enemy has used up their satchels. I get a huge um, wind attack from the side. It, but again, it doesn't seem to be doing do too much damage. And our Squigs are retreating. Now we've punched in our Savage Orcs. Savage Orc big guns at that. And we're going to be throwing in trolls as well. Just trying to break this back. The enemy is pulling away with their slayers. So they're going to allow their, um, I believe these are iron breakers. Yeah, to try and hold the line. Hammer is also going to be thrown in to try and plug the gap. So this is going to be um, a pretty desperate fight on both sides. 
Back through the center, the enemy is continuing to hold. We're targeting their most elite units with our artillery. And let's watch as this swarm of troops gets uh, into action. Let's see, where can we watch this from? It actually looks like their crew, their guys are coming after our artillery crew, so we're trying to pull out of there. Um, and we, we do have two giant spiders. So let's see this, perhaps serving as a bit of an ambush against these guys. We've been able to bait them into a pursuit, only to find that, oh, this is guarded by two giant spiders. It doesn't look like that's going to be doing anything to dissuade them. And so we're going to charge right through this force. One massive hit followed by another. And then we're going to close in on the rear. Look at the swarm of guys filling the canyons. Such a glorious map for that. Our big guns are now going to form, form up across the plain as the artillery for the enemy somehow still having ammo left. Firing away at our guys. Our guys shooting back. We're storming forward. Um, going to reposition our squigs to help in the main line, get, line attack. I also have chariots getting ready. Uh, over here, the enemy has beaten back our assault, mostly due to a lot of reinforcements, uh, heroes and whatnot. Uh, and so Wazog is kind of stuck in the mix. He's trying to buff up my trolls with the Fist of Gork. I I'm now bringing in some archers, and my uh, black orcs are pretty nearby to try and reinforce this. But just these Dragonback Slayers getting a lot of kills. 61 kills, 29 kills on these units, and 36. You know, my trolls really not doing too much. Let's see if the Nasty Skulkers can be a little bit more um, deadly. Against Slayers, they're not really going to have that much buff. Uh, but against more um, armored units, they should be doing pretty well. And that's why I'm bringing in my archers to beat the Slayers back. Oh, let's watch this. This is a big assault we don't want to miss. So we're throwing in Nasty Skulkers and Squig Herds. And this is going to be all in preparation for the massed attack. So let's get a quick pan going on here. Start going to the right. Just real slow. And let's put this on play. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how far we're penetrating with their squigs. Getting in at them. And now boom, bowling through the front ranks. And I think this is going to be the cue for us to now charge forward with our masses of men. Tons of artillery getting shots off. And this is really cool. Um, although unmolested are going to be their artillery crews and uh, other ranger forces. So I really need to try and suppress them, but they're pretty well covered. Units being drawn back from this flank to try and reinforce in the face of our attack. This uh, army over here is getting drawn a bit out of position. I'm going to try and shoot them up and then charge with black orcs. That's going to go in our favor. And let's go back and watch a bit of this fight. So they still have satchel charges, but the front ranks have been... Made incredibly thin. It looks like we gave attack orders to try and pull through the front ranks. To try and get at the second one to try and tie them down so they weren't throwing any more satchels. And so all along the line, I mean, we can see tons of explosions coming off. Azza getting in the mix as well. And this rear line here going to be thrown in close support pretty soon. Uh, the enemy is going to be casting... You know, we're going to be casting WOG and other units, uh, other spells to try and get us going. Man, this is a massive assault. And then on this flank, on top of it, we have a dual attack with spiders crushing through plus spider hatchlings to try and tie these forces down. We're bringing in nasty skulkers, artillery's firing. And so, yeah, this is a lot of business going down. Tons of buff, tons of units crash against the enemy. We're doing a lot of damage. Soul Blight doing a lot. But look at all these masses of uh, Quarrelers in the back. They're going to be able to focus fire on our reinforcing troops. I'm waiting to punch in with my Orc Board Chariots, which is starting to take a lot of fire. Um, I don't quite have the position to punch through yet, so I'm going to try and pull them back and wait for a better opportunity. Meanwhile, over here, our Black Orcs have been doing work. They've cleaned up this mass. And now what we're going to try and do with the main attack underway and this side um, kind of stripped of defenses we're going to try and pour through with a lot of units um so it's this is what's cool about this map you know battles going on everywhere our hero uh, is trying to stay near our main line to crush through and it looks like it's working pretty well beating back the front ranks but the problem is in the center where the enemy has you know multiple heroes um and plus this Gobblobber, I think whatever it targets ends up mass routing. So it's doing a lot of damage against us. We really need to take this guy out of commission. Yeah, you can see where he's targeting. All on the right, and that's exactly where our forces ended up routing. 
over here the enemy uh, forces are buffing themselves this is where I'm gonna try and pull through with my chariot I know that I have to get through to his uh, quarrelers and already having taken no damage I'm already starting to waver because of the goblobber so I'm gonna try and do an attack on this force with one of my chariot units I kinda of botched that because it blocks the other one but I didn't want to commit everything over here I punched through with one of them meanwhile the other force is gonna go rampaging through these quarreler units because they were putting on a lot of damage to our main line and we really needed to stop them. So I'm going to mass uh, attack click uh, with my chariot and just try and keep pulling through these guys. I cannot get stuck. And so, yeah. I'm going to start tearing through. Look at them as they pull through and disrupt this entire force. This is exactly what we needed. Had this been, you know, had this taken place earlier in the engagement, then we would have won. But the dwarfs had their flanks pretty buttoned down but now we're going to be charging through and this is going to really uh, loosen their uh, support for the front ranks and so we're going to throw back in the remainder of our forces this side is doing pretty well still holding strong chariots pulling through I'm going to try and hit the rear of this infantry to try and win us that fight over here looks like our trolls and uh, arachnarch spiders are going to give up on eliminating this flank and just pull through and come after the artillery really good move for us to try and take out these forces my chariots at this point have been sent flying as well as wazog but they did I mean look at what's left of these uh, horlers not much and now we have Azag the slaughter in the mix plus two spiders so the enemy definitely has the rear line comp compromise and here's the rest of my uh, chariot crew and look at the fields of blood left over in the center. My god, half the screen is red. This stuff is crazy. Here comes a bomber crew going to be coming in. Jeez, all the heroes trying to dispatch the, the Arachnarok queen. But she's being pretty hard to pin down. Uh, on this front, my mass of black orcs tore through this enemy force. I'm going to try and focus up on uh, King Lun Ironhammer. I'm repositioning my archers to the center to beat back this force um, and mostly going to try and crush through here with my black orcs. The iron breakers are really strong so I'm going to try and put everything into this mix. We'll see how this goes. I mean it is elite forces against elite forces. I clearly have the numbers um, so it's only a matter of time before I break through this. However what's starting to happen in the center is we're losing a bit of momentum all these heroes brought back into the center with all their buffs are uh, rejuvenating the defense. The fact that Azag was out of the fight and my own Wazag was out of the fight uh, caused some issues for our morale. And so our front line here just finally ended up cracking. Uh, enemy really didn't have much left, but they did have a couple key units. So for instance, the Grumbling Guard here with a lot of buffs for their allies. They're holding the line firm. Uh, the rear line of Skulker Guard with 43 kills doing a lot of damage. Um, and yeah, this is tearing through our front ranks. But look, not much is left. I mean, we only needed like one little extra wave. Um, and that is essentially what's left of our guys. So what we're going to try and do is rally our forces, um, keep strong. Uh, but we're trying, we're kind of teetering on the edge of morale. So we're trying to bring them back. Um, on this front, I'm going to try and do that by having everyone target King Lun. Uh, Lun. As like the Slaughter is in the mix as well. To try and help us eliminate him as quickly as possible. This is my cluster of Black Orcs. We're still at good morale. And then over in this position, the Spider has been brought back to try and help out our Black Orcs. Who have a wall popped on them. But the enemy is throwing in more and more units. Just as I said before, we might have won this battle. Rangers are going to get thrown in. They also have the support of this Skyhammer. Yes, its bombs are out, but it can at least provide uh, supporting fire from a t from above. And so I would say we could probably win this fight. The spiders in the mix, but now, ooh, a full health. Belagar Iron Hammer is going to do a lot. Look at all these enemy units, all routing. Spider doing great work. So we definitely need to free up these forces, which it looks like we just did. But uh, Wazag here is routing. We need to bring these forces back and really try and deal with. Um, Belagar here in the mix. He's targeting the spider. He knows that's a very good target. Um, and so we need to tear him up. But Slayers are getting pushed back in. Meanwhile, the enemy center is trying to reform. 
the remainder of our troops are going to start to rally a bit back here. I have my uh, eight peak loonies who are held in reserves who are going to be tried to pull up. And I have one final remaining uh, goblin rock clobber who still has ammo. And what he's going to be doing is targeting the main mass of uh, weak dwarves. But these big guns are having a hard time breaking these iron breakers. And man, yeah, our, our morale at this point is teetering on a knife's edge. We still have a good cluster of forces here, but our lords being on such low health has caused huge problems for us. Wazog is currently routing. Both of our heroes are currently routing, so we need to wait for them to rally um, and come back. Meanwhile, we do have a pretty good hold on our forces here. None of them are wavering just yet, but I'm scared by more forces, especially a rune smith being tossed in the mix. This could be our end. Meanwhile, in the center, enemy forces are going to be rallying. Artillery now is going to be targeting these guys. Let's see how much damage we can put on these weakened troops. And it looks like Indy's Lord Azag has come back. So we really need to bring him back into the fight. And yeah, here comes the artillery fire underway. And it looks like a lucky Doom Diver is going to... A couple of them are going to pull shots right through the mountain. And yeah, we're going to... Oh, man. Look how much damage we're doing to these remaining forces. So that is good, and like I showed, I mean, they're all at, like, really low health. So what I'm trying to do here is I had two chariots unit, units remaining. What I tried to do is pull them around this force, but in the vicinity in the vicinity of enemy lords and this little unit of longbeards, one of my units shattered and the other one shattered. Had they not been caught up, what my plan was was to come around here and just mow the lawn over all these weakened units and chariots can do that they can keep pulling through knock everyone on their asses and so i think i could have had a good chance of killing most of this plus the artillery support plus what we were going to do is have the eight peak loonies come in here and bottleneck this hit it in the back from chariots and artillery so that was the plan but unluckily for my chariots they got caught up on this little 11 man unit and that's what did us in meanwhile back in the fight uh, I've thrown in all of my black orcs, they're kind of somehow holding, the Arachnorok Queen is doing a good job, uh, but against Belagar we don't have anything to counter that, so our units are starting to route, plus our lords routing, not looking good for us. We can take a look over here, where there's going to be a bloodbath underway, the Apic loonies holding the enemy in place while we fire at them with the artillery, and look at the field of blood that we're going to leave. Oh, in this position, just imagine the timing here. Had my chariots come around, they could have hit this blob in the back, and I think probably routed them. Meanwhile, the enemy has a Skulker Guard unit from the Iron Drakes. Gonna start firing into this blob, and this is gonna do a lot of damage, not only to me, but basically everyone. He's gonna start melting the flanks of these units, and look at that. They don't care what's in this blob. Everything must go. <laughs> So it's just, you know, starting at the extremity and working its way in, it is destroying everyone. Burn it with steam and fire. Good God, that is horrific. But there you go. That's the last of our force. Beaten on all fronts. We started off with, you know, twice as many men. Almost as our opponents. Oh, no, they had 3,000. We had four, almost 5,000. So we had almost doubled the enemy numbers. And we're down to, you know, 14 remaining men. They have... Somehow 361, 355, still dropping pretty heavily. But yeah, this was a close fought battle. I think their lords at the end here proved decisive in the final battle. And I think in the main engagement in this bloodbath, I mean, the dwarves did what the dwarves do best. Sit still and pound the enemy, force us to charge, and you can see the number of kills uh, that took place here. I think most of the damage was done by our guys routing after the initial fight and that was in large part due to shaky troop morale um, which is of course in large part due to the enemy ethereal heroes as well as the special uh, goblin lava forces. I do a lot of stack penalties against units and especially against the squigs and uh, big guns they just don't really have the morale to hold strong and we didn't have the buffs or the heroes to hold firm so that caved in the center and the wings you know we we punched through with the arachnorok spiders we punched through the with the chariots but it was a little bit too little too late had the had it all happen at once i think we would have had a better chance but it was a really fun battle definitely made um possible uh and made even more fun by the amazing design of this map 
Really like this. This bodes well for what we'll see for future uh, Total Warhammer online battles. I mean, this is week one, and this is what we get. Can't wait to see what kind of cool content we'll see in the future. Anyways, that's it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the final stats of the units on both sides. Um, yeah, take a look at this. I brought six squigs. Didn't get that many kills. Well, actually... 35, 33, 26, and 26 is a fair amount of kills considering they were killing hammers, long beards, much more expensive units. So they did, they traded pretty well. Artillery trading pretty well. Um, archers doing okay. Chariots with a huge number of kills. Cleaning house in the back with corlers. My main line of big guns doing okay. Nasty skulkers not doing well. And uh, yeah, overall my forces did moderately. But I mean, compare that to the enemy, my god, they all got so many kills, they just ate wave after wave. Um, so that was a really fun battle, I think a lot of our troops here could have had more kills had they not kind of wavered and then shouted, and then shattered, excuse me, by a combination of the Goblaba and then these ethereal units, yeah, that, that did a number of on our morale. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Definitely check out my Facebook page where I have military history content, previews for my documentaries, and uh, yeah, it's just a great place in general to follow what I'm doing with my documentaries and learn more about military history. So yeah, check that out, and stay tuned for more of these custom battle maps. They are very fun. See you in the next one. Peace out.